Excellent work. Your handling of the command center was very effective at quelling further advances by the Soviets. Well done indeed. Yeah, well, it's not all good news, Jones. Tell him. Tell him what happened. We're seriously hurting here. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Chris, but your brother is dead. Shortly after he appeared on television, he was taken to Governor's Island. We understand that he was executed personally by General Tatarin. It is said that he died like a man, without a flinch or tear. I know it is painful, but you can be proud of him. Man, I can't take this! You know, Tatarin's gonna pay for killing Troy. He's gonna regret he ever stepped foot in New York. I say we hit him with everything we've got and- Bags? Chris, I'm sorry. I know it hurts, but we need to keep a cool head. We don't want to do anything irrational. Yet, I have a strange feeling about this. Yes, well... You must understand that the only action now that will truly hurt the Soviet agenda is to assassinate Tatarin. Eliminating him will spread chaos in the Soviet ranks and give way to a united American resistance. Oh, oh. That's a brilliant plan, Jones. What do we do? Invite ourselves over for a cocktail, then slip some cyanide in his vodka? No, we're gonna need some serious firepower to take him down. That guy's got his eye on every rat and cockroach on the island. Jones might be right. If we did manage to remove Tatarin, it could be the turning point for our cause. Let's double check our intelligence. There has to be a way to get him. After yesterday's hit on their installations, they'll be expecting company. This will need to be a surgical strike. We can't risk sending in a squad. I'm afraid this is a solo operation. Or... a two-man operation. You know, I know this is personal, Chris, and that's cool, kid, but if you need me, I'm with you all the way, buddy. Bring on Tatarin and his boys. I got plenty of bullets for him. I quite agree with Isabella. This mission calls for stealth, not ham-handed bravado. There's a sniper rifle in the weapons gallery. Chris, I'll arrange for a rowboat to the island. You must assassinate Tatarin. Without his leadership, the Soviet armed forces will crumble. This is no easy task and demands stealth, if you are to succeed. Bide your time and find a good...
<laughs> Remember me, Chris? Yes, I know your name. Perhaps this is more familiar? Hello, Christopher. You see, I've resumed my original profession. You never questioned where all that juicy information was coming from. That's what I love about the Americans. One finger up the nose and the other on the remote control. You were also busy entertaining yourselves to death, while our great nation was busy. Busy liberating Europe from the same fate. Our horizon grew, while yours has faded out. This foolish bravery will cost you your life, Chris. I do not have time for this foolishness, Chris. I have more important matters to attend to. Let us end this pity. I don't wish any further bloodshed in this nether. We have won us. You must see that. Your cause has ended.
please. Stop this match. We know you are here. It is only a matter of time before we find you. Show yourself, and we will be gentle with you. Do not make me angry, Christopher. I have tried to reason with you. Do not try my patience further! Where are your precious freedom fighters, Christopher? You're all alone. Surrender now and we'll leave you your dignity. I will spare the lives of your friends if you surrender now. Simply lay down your weapon and show yourself. Surely you don't wish any harm to come to them?
I know there is that in your heart. Lay down your weapon, and we will resolve this in a civilized manner. Enough! My patience is at an end. You will live to regret your actions. You 
have no options left, Chris. There is only one way out for you now. I will see to that. Enough! My patience is at an end. You will live to regret your actions. Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. The Soviet armed forces have tonight declared a total victory over the underground rebellion. After numerous barbaric attacks by the rebels on Soviet bases in each borough of New York, the situation is finally under control. We continue to receive reports of minor incidents around the city, but it is clear that the rebels have been defeated. Tragically, our beloved Commander-in-Chief General Tatarin has paid the ultimate price in his relentless fight against the Freedom Phantom and his henchmen. He was assassinated earlier tonight in a dastardly rebel ambush. We go live now to Governor's Island, where the funeral ceremony is about to commence. Comrades! This is indeed a day of infamy. We are gathered here today to bid farewell to our great leader. We came to restore law and order, to secure peace and stability in this region, and save the American citizens from brutality and exploitation. And this is the brave general's reward? He shall not have died in vain. A second in command, I respectfully take his place, and I vow today to track down the cowardly scum who committed this outrage. I swear revenge today on the so-called Freedom Phantom Christopher Stone and puny army of remaining rebels for the brutal killing of our beloved leader, Tatarin. Stone, your days are numbered. 
You and your followers will be flushed out and destroyed like sewer rats. Long live the Soviet Union! Long live the revolution! Long live Soviet government of the United States!